Okay, guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch. Here we go again with what I think is a great idea. I've been driving uh, ATVs for many, many years. I, I go back uh, back to the very earliest ones, even before the three-wheelers. Uh, and uh, ATVs are great fun. And around, uh, around a farm now, uh, around a ranch, a country property, they're, they're fantastic. Uh, we just recently, uh, uh, a couple, three years ago, got a UTV. Yes, a Polaris Ranger side-by-side. -side. My wife loves it, you know, because she can go out in the rain and the snow and everything else. And it is really handy, I got to admit, because you can carry a lot more and you are inside. And you got a steering wheel and everything else, but I th there's nothing like an ATV. But an ATV, UTV, doesn't matter. This particular tip applies on them both. With ATVs or UTVs, <clears throat> often you want to pull something. You want to tow something behind them. And, and, and they're not really designed for towing. They're designed for wheel drive to go anywhere. But specifically for towing, they, they, they do have a receiver on the back, a hitch receiver. Now normally on a, on, a, on a half decent one, and I don't mean that there aren't decent ones, but the smaller ones that are, you know, toys, I will call them, not, not to be derogatory, they have a small receiver hitch, uh, inch and seven eighths. But normally they have a two inch receiver which is a standard size, you get the back of most pickup trucks and so on. Standard two inch receiver. And, uh, but you don't get a hitch with it. Not normally, anyway, unless you buy it at the time. And you can go, you can go to a variety of ATV accessory uh, online sites and around. You can find all kinds of ATV hitches. And, and um, they're pretty good. They're all well made, nice shiny black, and they got a hole in them and everything else. Um, the, the, the fanciest ones, the ones that they want you to buy, usually have four things, okay, because the, the square, and, and the receiver turns, so you start four sides, right? And they have two holes. So they, they, well, they usually have a um, two inch ball, and there's some, sometimes there are three balls a one and seven eighths, a two and two and five sixteenths. But you don't use a one and seven eighths ball very often, and you don't use a, a two and five sixteenths. 15 sixteenths, whatever. Uh, a big one very often. We only use that on the travel trailer. Most, of, most trailers use only the two inch ball. And you have a two-inch hitch, so our utility trailer, and, and most of the trailers around here, the, the, even the wagon and so on, the, the hay wagon, they're all two-inch. So a two-inch ball is the most common one. But they have a couple of balls. Some of them, they have a hook. They have a hook, you know. Some have a ring and so on. So you can get pretty fancy ATV, UTV hitches to go into your receiver, put a pin through, and off you go. We found some problems with those, particularly the ones that have four, because you have four, one sticking down, now, and, and the receiver on UTVs, ATVs is already close to the ground. And we found often we'd come back afterwards, and there was all kinds of mud and sticks and so on that got caught in that, whatever that one that was sticking down was. It gets caught in the mud. It's just too close to the ground. So I worked on it and thought about it and so on, and, and I came up with what I think is the perfect ATV hitch. It's simple. You can make it yourself. If you have access to welding or drilling at all, you can make it yourself. It might might cost you 15 bucks in, in parts instead of 35, 40, 50 dollars for a, a production made one that doesn't work as well. So here's what I did. Okay, first of all, you need a piece of two inch square tubing. Now, get some heavy duty stuff. You can see the wall on this. I don't know if you can zoom in there, uh, Kevin, but it's a fairly heavy wall. This is not little light tubing. Make it fairly heavy. Now, these, these take a fair bit of abuse, but this is easy. Uh, go to your local scrapyard if you want to, the dump, uh, or go to a steel place and say, I need eight inches of two inch tubing. Uh, make sure that it uh, doesn't have uh, a, a weld on it. Uh, this, this is welded. Uh, it may be weld. I'm not too sure, but the weld's on the inside. You want the outside, all four sides, to be smooth so it'll fit smoothly into the receiver on the back of your ATV. All right? So that's simple enough, eight inches long. Now you have to drill a hole through it for the pin to hold it into the receiver, obviously. And make the hole a good size. Don't make it too tight. Few things are more frustrating than trying to get this in. Line up the holes and then get the pin in, and the pin won't quite go through. Make it a good size. I believe this is three quarter inch. I'm guessing. And for that, you're going to need a good drill press. So get, get your drill press out and careful. Use oil. You know the routine. Center punch it, okay, and then drill your three quarter inch hole through. Drill it. Make sure this is level and drill right through. So the holes line up. Don't drill this side and flip it over. They never line up. I've, I've done that. I've made those mistakes already. So there you go. So now you've got a piece of 8-inch square tubing that fits into your receiver, the back of the ATV or UTV, and the pin goes through there. Simple. Now what? Well, now you get another piece of steel. 
I make this piece of steel even heavier. This is a quarter inch. So you get a piece of quarter inch steel, and it's also eight inches long. Make it real simple. If you can measure eight inches, you can build this. <laughs> two inches wide, all right, matches the tube. Two inches wide, eight inches long. Simple. Now, I suggest you drill this in advance. Okay, so get your drill press out, clamp it down tightly. You know how to drill flat steel. Center punch it, mark it, and drill two holes in this. This front hole is half inch. A good half inch. No, make it smaller than half inch, a good half inch, okay? Then this hole back here is at least three quarters of an inch. Could be bigger if you wanted to, but at least three quarters of an inch. So there's your two holes. And how far apart? Uh, guess. Not really matter. This hole, the small one, is relatively close to the end, about a half an inch in from the end. And then I left two inches. Center of the center is two inches, maybe two, uh, two or two and a half inches. You figure it out, okay? What are these for? Well, it's really quite simple. Most of the attachments that we drag around use a hitch on the front that comes in like this. It's not a ball hitch, it's just a flat hitch, comes in like so, and you'll drop a pin down, through. Okay, just pins through. So you need this half inch pin. And the, the, the what do we got? We've got a utility wagon, it's a little wagon on four wheels. We've got a, a lawn aerator, you know, a spike aerator for the lawn. We've got a, uh, we've got a uh, dethatcher for the lawn. And we, we, we drag around a, um, uh, a sprayer. We have a sprayer for, for weeds and so on. And all of those devices, all those little wheeled devices that you drag around behind your ATV, they have on the end of the handle, they just have a bracket that comes across like that. And you put the pin right down through. That's what that's for. Okay, and you can see, this is mine, I just took it off, you can see here, you can see how long those usually are, because you can see the wear point, you see how it sits on there, and you can see it's where it wears as I turn corners, okay, and a little bit of gap where it's not worn. This hole, yeah, that's for a ball, so, on that hole, you mount your ball, like so, ball goes on top, and you want to make this big enough, <clears throat> check around and make sure, if you're going to use this, for a large ball, for a travel trailer, just to move it around, uh, make sure that that hole is big enough. Some of the some of the balls have a one inch uh, 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 bolt on them uh, to 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 meet the requirements of the weight measurement, and, and so make sure that that hole is big enough to suit the balls that you're going to be using. So get out your one and seven, your two inch ball, and your two and fifteen sixteenths, and make sure that this hole is big enough, and that sits right there, and that stays on there. So you, 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 after, you, after you drill the holes and get this piece of steel ready, <clears throat> and the hitch is all done, you're going to put that on there semi-permanently. Of course, you can take it off to change balls, but you don't do that very often. So after you got this piece of 8-inch steel ready, without the ball, set it on top of your 2-inch hitch and weld it. Now weld it well. Don't mess around. So a good solid weld across there, a good solid weld underneath. If you want to, I didn't do this, but if you want to weld along the sides as well, you can do that. Most of the wear on this is up and down and this way. There's very little pulling left or right. So I didn't weld on the sides, but you can do that. Weld it really well, both sides like so. And there's your hitch. Let me just quickly show you. <clears throat> perfect ATV hitch. Now, why do I say it's a perfect ATV hitch? Well, I say it's a perfect ATV hitch for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's simple. Secondly, it's cheap. Uh, how are we doing here? And thirdly, it does exactly what you want it to do. No more. No less and no more. People say, well, I like to have the hook. There's a hook on some of them. So I can put a piece of rope over it. You don't need a hook. Drop the rope over the ball. I mean, it's so obvious when you think about it, but you're quite right. But you know, when you buy one of these, you pay 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks for it. They have a really nice chrome sometimes hook welded on there. Nice big hook. I don't know what the heck that's for. Rope, chain, whatever. This works perfectly well. You don't have to have a separate hook. And again, you never use all three sizes. It's quick and easy and stronger to actually use a proper hitch ball and just change them when you need to, which isn't very often. So this obviously slides into the receiver, and, and then you pin it. You can actually use a pin. On mine, on my UTV, which we use most of the time, I don't pin it. I bolt it. That's right. I have a heavy-duty bolt, three-quarter inch bolt, that goes through with a, uh, with a nylock nut on the other side, and I bolt it in there, so it's semi-permanent. Of course, I can take it off. I did. But since we don't remove it off and on all the time, as you would a hitch on the back of a pickup truck or on the back of a car, just put it in there. 
Now you don't, you can't lose the pin. You don't have to worry about the 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 uh, uh, clip or anything else. There it is, perfect, nice and simple. Don't forget, by the way, to file off the edges, so it's nice and smooth, so you and uh, and your wife and your kids, anybody else, doesn't cut themselves. There you go, guys. It's just that simple, cheap. I don't think I've got, I don't have 10 bucks on this, maybe 5 bucks, I think I had a piece of steel laying around, but anyway, uh, even if you have to buy the steel, and you can do the weld, or pay for the welding. I, a, a welder at a welding shop wouldn't charge you 20 bucks to make this darn thing for you. Anyway, there you go, perfect ATV hitch, for me anyway. Maybe there's some ideas in there for you as well. Now we're going to share some pictures because I have an actual, I have pictures for the actual process as I built a very, very nice one. I made one for a good friend of mine who just got married and uh, he just got an AT a UTV and he likes it. And I knew he even needed one of these, so I made it for his wedding. I don't know, a UTV hitch for a wedding present? What's wrong with that, Kevin? Why are you looking at me funny? Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope there's something in there for you. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.